<laughs> Coming up on Look Today, well, officials in Schuylerville are hoping General Electric will come up with a more permanent solution to an eroding cap. I'll explain what that means. Plus, running a 5K is hard work. But running a 5K while avoiding zombies makes it downright crazy. Well, our cameras are on the scene of the Run Dead 5K to support the Special Olympics. And residents gather at the Queensbury High School to raise money for breast cancer. It's all ahead on Look Today. Welcome everyone, I'm Jay Hood Jackson, and here's a look at what's making news today in Saratoga, Warren, and Washington counties. In our lead story, while officials in Schuylerville are concerned over a cap that was placed by General Electric to cover PCBs dredged from the river. Now in 2011, GE covered contaminated soil with sand and rock at Fort Hardy Park in Schuylerville. Well since then, that cap has eroded and needs to be replaced. Well, local leaders want GE to remove all the contaminated soil, which would offer a permanent solution. Mayor John Sherman and board members propose restoring a beach on top of the cap, but would like to have the option to use the land for other things as well. Well, GE says since they can build a beach, the PCBs are not preventing the village from using that land. Well, according to the EPA, GE will have to remove the PCBs at some point, however, and that process could take years. The erosion repairs will take place in the next few weeks. Well, changing from news to weather, the region saw a little bit of everything over this past weekend. So how is the weather shaping up for the coming week? Let's go to our Glens Falls Weather Center for a look at your first forecast. Well, back to the news. Well, the American Cancer Society held its Making Strides Against Breast Cancer event at Queensbury High School this past weekend. The event was attended by over 1,000 people, and get this, raised over $100,000 for breast cancer research. One of the speakers at the event was Warren County DA Kate Hogan, who is a cancer survivor herself. She shared her story with Look Today. Um, money raised by events like this are making things different so that my experience with breast cancer was wholly different than my mother and I'm very very confident that we'll have absolute prevention and cure for my daughters and my granddaughters. <laughs> Go Kate. A member of the American Cancer Society said that the medical advances in the last 30 years have made a big difference for those diagnosed with cancer. She also said that the number of programs such as look good, feel better, have changed the way people think when they are diagnosed. She says that now we can make patients feel like cancer is something that has happened in their lives. It's not something that will end it. Congratulations to everyone involved in the walk. In other news, well, Saratoga State Park was the site of the Run Dead 5K. The event is held to support the Special Olympics. The 5K gives runners a chance to get out and exercise with a slight twist. While the race is going on, kids and adults are walking like zombies to try to take flags hanging from participants' waists. Well, the fundraiser brought in more than $30,000. In sports, the Schuylerville Black Horses squared off against Hudson in the first round of the Class B playoffs. Now, for the Black Horses, facing a new opponent they hadn't seen this year did not change anything. The high-powered Black Horses offense ran the ball for over 300 yards. The team's defense didn't allow a single point until the final quarter of the game. Well, the results of that, Schuylerville won the game 48-6. to Now, they play Shalmont in the next round. Still to come. The race for mayor of Saratoga continues to build. And here to discuss her thoughts on important issues is incumbent Mayor Joanne Yepsen. Plus, Democratic nominee Bill McTighe 
is hoping to take over as Commissioner of Public Works in Saratoga. McTighe joins us to discuss the issues, and that's coming up. But first, if you see news happening, you want to share a story idea, or join us for an interview, give us a call on the hotline. The number is 798-8000.